Hi, my name is Katie from Katie and the Squid. In this video, I'm going to show you how to assemble the Shelly tote. This is a free knit pattern on my blog. I will link to where you can find the pattern to knit the bag. In this video, I'm going to show you how to put it all together. I'll also link to all the materials that you need. I have my knit bag all sewn together. I did a seam down one side, across the bottom, and then up the other side. I just did a slip stitch, but you can do any seam you'd like. And then I sewed in all the ends that I had. I also did a very light steam blocking of my bag. So the next step is to insert your tote bag into your knit bag and attach it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my tote into my knit bag and I'm going to kind of fiddle my way in here. And I find that it actually helps to pick it up and kind of just shake it in. So I'll do that right now. It's kind of like getting a pillow into a pillowcase. I also find that it's helpful to just put my hands in and kind of even things out a little bit. Once you get it all attached, it'll look a little nicer. So the first thing that I do is I make sure that I've lined my seam with the seam of the bag and I make sure that it's all the way so that these edges are lined up. And then I like using these, I think they're binder clips and I will just stick that on to hold it in place and then I'll do the same thing on the other side here. Next you have a couple options of actually attaching your knit bag to your canvas bag. You can take a needle and thread and just sew all the way around if that's what you prefer to do. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to use some fabric glue. I find that with these bags, the uh, if you put anything, even if it's really heavy, into this bag, all of the weight is going to be held with the actual canvas bag and the handles. So none of the weight is really going on to our knit bag. So I find that the fabric glue works just fine. So basically what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of fabric glue along the edge up here and I'll line these up. And then what I use is, you could use more binder clips to hold it in place while it's drying. But what I have are these, um, they're, they're nail clips, I believe. You usually use them when you're attaching nails. Um, I'll link to where I found these, but again, something like more binder clips would work just fine. I just have a ton of these lying around and they work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be very careful and make sure everything's lined up the way that I want to do. And I'm going to start close to one of my binder clips and I'll take some glue and just squeeze a little bit on there and I'll push it into place and stick a clip there and <clears throat> I kind of want to work back and forth so that I'm not you know gluing 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 and then come over here and find that I have a bunch of extra fabric so I kind of want to go back and forth just to make sure everything's lining up nicely so I'll put a little bit more over here and add some glue and again line it all up and I'll place another clip to hold it into place. I finished gluing this entire side and put my clips every so often. Um, another idea, instead of these clips, you could use uh, clothespins or, uh, again, you could use more of the binder clips. I wouldn't use sewing pins though because, for one, it's a little bit hard to get the pins into the canvas of the bag. And also, when you do finally get it in, it'll kind of distort the bag, if that makes sense. So it might dry in a funny position 
that makes sense. So I'll let this dry for a few hours and then I'll flip it over and I'll do the other side. Another option, what I've done before is I've just done the whole, th instead of using the clips, I did a line of glue and then I placed something kind of heavy like a book or something on top and let it dry like that. So there's a lot of options, just whatever works best for you. Now I'm just taking out the clips. I'm going to flip it over and I'll do the same thing to the other side.